everyone. So first of all, let me apologize for not putting up a video on Saturday. I had a few little technical problems. One of them, it was just crazy with the editing and the video got so long that it was making me want to go ah and like scream. So I thought I'd better not do that video and just regroup and do something different. So I decided to post a video on Tuesday and because it's a musical week for me, I get to go see Jonathan Jackson and E Nation in concert on Friday. And then also today is Tunes for Tuesday on my blog, which is a blog segment that I do where I either make a playlist or I talk about music. So I thought I would do something music related today and a couple of weeks ago when I reviewed the book Vinyl Princess, I shared with you guys that I started a vinyl collection this year and I thought I would share my very small vinyl collection with you all and let you know just what I own so far. When I started, I basically had to start from scratch because my parents, while they did have some records, my dad accidentally threw them away. <laughs> Whoops. So it was actually a good thing though because I get to totally start my collection from scratch and pick what I want in there and really get the experience of being a collector. When I got started, I had to really dig to find places in my area that sold vinyl, and I decided to go to a cool place called Carpe Diem, which is a really small vintage vinyl store in Franklin, Tennessee. The very first vinyl that I picked up was Blondie's Parallel Lines. I really enjoy this album. I like to listen to this album when there's a project and it's kind of late at night and you're having trouble like pushing through doing a project. This album is really great for making that work for you. I love the album art on it. Also, it contains so many of my favorite Blondie songs. Second vinyl that I found, which is, is awesome fun is the Beatles Yesterday and Today album. I'm glad that I got this album cover because the Butcher album cover is actually sort of creepifying. So I'm glad that I got like the normal one. No offense to the other album cover, you know what I'm saying? This is just really enjoyable. I usually listen to this if I'm working on something like a puzzle because it's just something nice to like bop your head to. And of course it's the Beatles. The Beatles are always awesome, you know? The last album on my first vintage vinyl shopping trip that I got was a album called New Jacket Required by Phil Collins. I really like Phil Collins' vocal quality and even though I hadn't really heard this album, I decided to check this album out and I love it. I really like to listen to this album when I have to clean. <laughs> And I don't really feel in the mood to clean. It's great for like folding clothes and putting them away because it's groovy and it's got mood kind of music too on it. I'm quite happy that I got it. I think I got it for like seven bucks too. So after my first vinyl shop, I decided to one day just, I knew they had some vinyl at Guitar Center. Now I probably wouldn't shop for vinyl at Guitar Center unless I really needed to, again, because they are kind of overpriced at my Guitar Center just because they don't have very many vinyl um, in their stock. So I did shop there and I still had some cool finds even though they were really ridiculously priced. First one, which I'm really, really happy about is Led Zeppelin 3. I love this packaging first of all other than the fact that i love love zeppelin i love the packaging because it's got this little side thing and it spins the pictures in there and you have to kind of open and get creative with how you open it so it's pretty cool in terms of just the packaging it's a lot of my favorite zeppelin songs on it i love that when i played this in vinyl because of the way vinyl sounds, it's got that warmer sound, I really understood the lyrics better when I listened to this album, and so that was extra uber super cool. Another one that I got on my trip to Guitar Center was 
Adele's 21 album. I just thought this would be the coolest album to have in vinyl. It's very nice to relax to when you listen to this album. It is also something that I listen to when I want to write something. Of course, it's just an awesome album. It's got some great songs on it. A few months back, I went to the Echo Smith concert and they were really awesome and it was great and I decided to get some memorabilia. One of the things that I got was the album that they currently have out, Talking Dreams in Vinyl. I would really love to have their limited edition acoustic album that's in vinyl and it's like white vinyl but I don't know if I'll ever end up getting that because it is limited edition and I might not have gotten on the train but I do however have the original awesome vinyl it sounds really really good they had this cool um liner note thing inside with all the lyrics on the back but the picture is just pretty awesome I actually hung it up in my room on my uh Christmas light string because it looks so cool so last month i went on a vinyl vintage vinyl shop yet again at carpe diem because i just haven't been able to get out of uh my like general vicinity to get vinyl yet even though i really want to and i went looking for first of all i wanted some nat king cole and i wanted some dolly parton so i immediately walked in and found the best of nat king cole which you're listening to right at this moment it is awesome it has several of the songs of his that i really love on it and i just pretty much listen to nat king cole when i want to just close my eyes and chill and just hear his beautiful singing. This album is flipping awesome. I was very excited to find this. Then, of course, I did get some Dolly Parton. I went with this one, and I don't know why I particularly chose this one. I think the cover intrigued me, and I was intrigued by the songs on it. Uh, it's not many of her originals. It's a lot of covers, but... It is pretty cool when you listen to it. It's got a kind of country pop kind of flair, and it's called The Great Pretender. I forgot to tell you the title of the album. So I did quite like it. I think it would be like cool kind of soundtracky, um, background tracky kind of music. I don't know why, but I thought that when I listened to it. And when I was at the store, the guy that was working in the store, he was walking around kind of showing me some things that... He thought I would enjoy it. At first, he didn't know where to go because I like a lot of genres, as you can tell. Uh, but he did find this little find for me, which is Boots by Nancy Sinatra. I really love this album. I think all the songs are just so cool. I love the style of the music. I like how Nancy Sinatra did girl power without, like, looking like a hoe. Like, she didn't have to, like, just sell herself in a sexual manner to show that she had girl power like she was just like if you treat me bad i'm walking and i think that's really cool and i like that the whole album kind of has that same kind of theme that girl powery themes then i was very excited because another artist that i have on my list for my collection is billy jewel and i found his album turnstiles it's very enjoyable album. I would say it's another one that I like to just close my eyes and listen to because it's obviously just great piano work and great songwriting that is really interesting. Last in my collection is Rod Stewart's Blondes Have More Fun. So I got this on my shopping trip literally for $2.00. At the front desk, the guy that was working at the store yet again said, do you want this? It's two bucks. And I was like, heck yeah. So I was not going to say no to a $2 vinyl. You can't get some songs off of, you know, download for two bucks. So I got a pretty awesome album for $2. I really do enjoy, yet again, kind of listening to this one when I need to like clean or do kind of some tedious project. It's very cool to get you through that, and it's just kind of fun to listen to. There's a lot of different styles and stuff on it. 
So those are my 11 vinyl records. I plan to hopefully go to Nashville, Tennessee, and they have a couple of cool, awesome record stores that I want to check out. One of them is Grimey's, and I forgot what the other one is. Definitely want to check out Grimey's. And then another place that I might go if I need to get something local is they did start selling vinyl at uh, Barnes & Noble, which was like, yes! I like freaked out because I do want some things like Lord or Ed Sheeran in my thing. Oh, also girls and boys, I saw the Robert Plant and Alison Cross album and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna save up and get some stuff at there because yeah i definitely would love to have that album so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's not book related which is what i usually do but i occasionally like to do something different and i hope that you enjoyed this i will see you later i am not going to post this saturday i'm going to post next saturday because i'm going to that concert and it's going to mess with my usual editing time so I didn't want to promise something just in case, you know, things don't work out and I can't get something edited. So I'm going to for sure be posting next Saturday evening at night. And I will see you then, fabulous ones. Thanks for watching.